as we are moving on into the 80s we are getting cleaner and cleaner in terms of look so um, we need to work a little bit more balanced and you know the looks are becoming less aggressive so um, let me show you a good example of how you can achieve a nice 80s feel so we're gonna go and create a new timeline we're gonna call it 80s and we have a great shot for this look which is the shot E002 and the CO5 there we go again we're going to go and create like um, another serial node we're gonna drop color lab on it then we're gonna go and select Alexa you probably you know know the drill you know there's always the same procedure go and select the camera first now in terms of the contrast I'm going to go and work with S1 for this look so you know like you know this is usually like you know how the 80s would feel I quite like this kind of quite you know neutral transfer maybe I'm just gonna close it down a little bit on the gamma you know just to give it a little bit more depth you know so there we go so I have just kind of reduced it a little bit now the best palette that I like to use in this era is um, a Kodak and especially the Kodak negative which is you know the 5207 for example so this is a great starting point you see 5207 is a very clean film stock now what I am going to do next to balance this further I'm gonna go into the printer lights I will reduce just a little bit the red light and then I'm gonna go and increase my blue light until I don't balance my shot so it feels a little bit more neutral so see now I have basically created this kind of neutral feel so it's not very very warm as normally this stock would look so I have managed to rebalance it back to give me like a very nice feel so as you can see on my scopes you know my my red green and blue channel are pretty equally represented and this is what you should try if you go into this kind of 80s feel try to stay within the boundaries if you're trying to use it as a starting point and later you can always go and use your primary color correction to go and you know put whatever feel you want to do to it but as a starting point it's always good to kind of balance your values to something neutral to begin with then you can decide how much saturation you want to put in that shot so for example this could be a little bit more saturation like this or I can go and make it slightly crunchier you know that always helps so there we go this is a cool 80s look